Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Cliff EOTC vlog. Today is Monday, March 21st, 2016. This is episode number 58. And in today's vlog, I'm going to be answering a question that has come in quite frequently and it has to do with what's behind me. People seem to be very interested. They wanna know, Cliff, what do you use all of those monitors for? The first screen and the most important screen to me is the main monitor for my 27 inch iMac. Because I answer tons of questions, it's essential for me that I can have two full size browsers sitting side by side pretty much all day long. I almost always have my email opened up here on the left hand side and during a podcasting A to Z course, I'll have my forums open. The reality is, is that what gets displayed on those two browser windows, that's going to change all day long depending upon what I happen to be working on at the time. What doesn't change is the fact that I do have those browser windows open side by side most of the day throughout every day. On the Mac platform, there's this feature called Spaces, which allows me to just swipe over and have another desktop on my main screen as well. This allows me to have one swipe access all day long to my to-do list, which I use an app called Todoist. Next, I'll take you to my 60 inch monitor over here. I don't know about you guys, but randomly throughout the day, sometimes I'm kind of distracted by a video. I think it's important to know that there are times when I don't allow any distractions throughout my day and there'll be nothing on these other monitors. However, occasionally there are times when I'm doing tasks that really don't require a lot of thought and I sometimes welcome distractions. And for that reason, I might be doing something like copying and pasting a lot of things over and over again and listening to the audio while off to the side if I need to look, I can refer back to the video of what's being displayed on this video that caught my interest throughout my day. I learn a lot from these videos. Another use for this particular screen being in the background is that I use it for branding when I'm doing video work. And remember I told you about the spaces option on the Mac? Well, I can easily just swipe over and show a reversed image of my logo. And on my 23 inch monitor, I can do the same thing. You see, I use Snapchat for vlogging on a pretty consistent basis. And one of the things that happens when you use the front facing camera, like I'm doing right now, it will reverse the images in the background. And so for that reason, it's nice to be able to flip my artwork around so that I can display my branding the way I want it to be displayed. There is another very significant reason why I have this 23 inch monitor off to the side. And it's due to the fact that I have lots of webinars that I produce. And when I'm doing webinars or group coaching calls or even one-on-one -on -one calls with individuals, the reality is, is that the people on the other end, they're all using different screen sizes to view what I'm sharing. And so if I were to try to take the native resolution of my 27 inch iMac over there and somebody was watching it on their laptop, chances are they're not gonna be able to read anything on the screen that I'm sharing. And that's why when I'm sharing via webinar, I only share what's on the 23 inch monitor behind me. And the reason is that I always leave the resolution on that screen to 1280 by 720 P. It makes it easy for anyone who is watching via any kind of screen to be able to read what I'm sharing. And because I'm sharing on that screen, it frees up my main screen over there for me to put my notes or an outline for my webinar. And if I happen to be taking Q&A for my audience, that screen, that big one up there on top of the 23 inch monitor, I can have their questions popping up right on that screen there, just above where I'm sharing. Next, I have my iPad mini here, and I just use this to play music throughout my day like this. I use an app on the iPad called Focus at Will, which plays specially created music that helps you focus throughout your day. Again, it's Focus at Will. I also use this iPad for my sound jingles for the recording of a podcast. For example, every Thursday when Stephanie and I do our show called Family from the Heart. Welcome to another episode of the Family from the Heart. And some folks have noticed that there's another little tablet down here and this just happens to be the control panel for my ADT security system for the house. And for those of you who watch things very closely, you know that those are not the only monitors I have in my studio, but if I pan around very slowly, you'll notice that there's another 27 inch iMac in the background. And this computer right here is primarily used as a backup system. And its main purpose is for data backups with an external drive to it. 
but I also use it for branding as well. And well, there you go, my friends. I hope that gives you at least some indication as to what I might use some of these monitors for. And the reality is, is that the answers that I gave you today, they just came off the top of my head, really didn't sit down and think about all of the different uses. But one thing is for sure, I know for a fact that I use all of my screens for a great deal more than what I shared here today, but at least it gives you some glimpse into how some of these things can be used. And well, that's my vlog post for the day. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, of course, I encourage you to take everything you do, even the use of your technology for productivity, to the next level.